Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. This is my son Ben. And today we have the best whiskies from May 2020. Yeah, the whiskey.com award. And now the award badge has a little chain on it. So <laughs> it, it fits much this better. This running gag with the <laughs> misfitting. <laughs> Blop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, the first one was a really astonishing one. Tom and Towel, Re. That means friendship. And it's a limited edition from Tom and Towel. And it's a Oloroso Sherry cask. And that is really amazing because Tom and Towel is the gentle dram. And they're really gentle. They have a, a nice, round, easy sipping whiskey. And that combined with this Oloroso um, yeah, maturation. Uh, gives you a really, really nice, fruity, gentle dram. And my question for Tom and Tao only is, why is this not a standard bottling? Why is that a limited edition? And it's going to be a shame when it's when it's gone. Yeah, probably uh, they will recognize how fast this whiskey will sell. And then they have a longer... Uh, probably that's a prototype for... A longer version. Yeah, but I'm not sure. Maybe limited editions are often prototypes for bigger things. Yeah. So next one, we had Life last week, but uh, not in English, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, oh, no. <laughs> this time we have a lot of whiskeys uh, from our German stay-at-home life tastings. Where we have... Uh, Bleiben Sie zu Hause. Bleiben Sie zu Hause. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, where we have small small packages of whiskey that you can order at home and then have fun with us uh, trying them. And this is the Japanese blended whiskey and that's the Japanese Harmony. Uh, Hibiki, Suntori Hibiki, Japanese Harmony. That's the, that's the one. And it's a, a very nice whiskey uh, made from three different distilleries, Chita, uh, Hakshu and Yamasaki. And they have 10 different ingredients of uh, in terms of distillery and terms of casks casks and spirit within the casks mm -hmm. so this is a blend so there are grains in it as well and in japan the blend whiskies have a bigger higher reputation uh, than the single ones <clears throat> that's different to the rest of the world um, but uh, this is artisan work artisanal work and it's very well done very complex Good job. Mm -hmm. So the next one is uh, a special from Artbag. We all know they come out every year and they are pretty good. Same as this year. It's the Artbag Black and it's the Black Sheep amongst oh, all the other. Three A's in the black. Yeah. <laughs> and um, it's matured in Pignon Noir. Pinot Noir. Pinot Noir. <laughs> yeah, my no French friend. is really good. <laughs> and uh, it has a black bottle and everything is about black. And it also it tastes really good. Otherwise, it wouldn't have get, got the award. So it's it's really good. Yeah, the Pinot Noir is the cask from the New Zealand uh, wine yard uh, called uh, Cloudy Bay. So it's a very mm. famous a uh, wine yard or, or a chateau on the South Island of New Zealand. I visited it two, two years ago. And uh, the mother company of Artbag and uh, this uh, chateau is the same. Louis Vuitton uh -huh. So and there's this connection to these wonderful cars. And uh, it was just a coincidence uh, that I had a Pinot Noir of Cloudy Bay open at home. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so the next one is from a live tasting, but it was from the FAQ live tasting that we also had in English. So you have seen this bottle before, but unfortunately it's a whiskey.de exclusive that you can only get here in Germany or in the foreign country of Austria. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh, the Austrians really feel foreign. Yes, but they, <laughs> they speak German. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, but it's a... No, really they don't speak German, they speak high language. High language, yeah. 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 They, don't, <laughs> they don't learn German in school, they high language. Schriftsprache, <laughs> irgendwie, yeah. like, like, something like that. But, uh, it's, it's a really nice whiskey from uh, Loch Lomond. It's a bit... Atypical because Loch Lomond is not known for their finishes, 
but more for their bourbon cast. But more and more uh, finishes and different casts are coming out from Loch Lomond. So their, their big rule of not finishing or not sherry or something, mm, it's fading away. Yeah, it's fading away. And this one is a very special one. It's a first fill. Mm. It's a first fill Amontillado cask and brings a wonderful addition to uh, the taste of Loch Lomond. And, uh, well, these bottles are really new. Loch Lomond changed proprietors five years, six years ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, now they uh, move away from the 20 million liter uh, output and go over to more special matured casks. They have three different kinds of stills they're running and uh, they have a lot of vari variety uh, yeah. in their uh, production portfolio. They have 12 different kind of raw spirits. Yeah, two, they could two times probably two times. go up to, I think, 24 or 36 or something like that <laughs> uh, because of uh, different possibilities, but they limit themselves to these 10 or 12. Yeah, and they would, they will be able or are, are able uh, to bring out a single blend <coughs> because they are producing grain and... Uh, and yeah and uh, malt in the distillery mm -hmm. but uh, i think the 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 single blend is no longer a, a valid uh, description blend yeah. <laughs> sounds contradictory yeah so they, they are no longer allowed to use that i think mm -hmm. yeah yeah so the last one is one for the from the german channel again we didn't have it on the whiskey.com channel so but puzzling there but it's a really nice one we had oh, we tasted that in english a year ago or something i think yes um, yes so we <coughs> it gets a little oh did we did we give it a award back then probably <laughs> might be might be but uh, <laughs> they will tell us in the key in, in the <laughs> database <laughs> two awards <laughs> you know there are bottles out there which got six golden medals over the last hundred years so they got two awards so uh, it's, it's legitimate if it's a good bottle <laughs> um it's definitely a good bottle mcallen are usually really good uh except for the price yeah they are like the premium whiskey amongst the mm. whiskey so they score a higher price and they have really yeah cumbersome flavors yeah and we had the the task to decide if the double wood we have here or the triple wood or triple cask triple wood triple cask triple cask i think it's called this is the double this is the double cask uh which one of those two is to take and uh well i was the first one i took this one <laughs> i think yeah. in the video you had been for the triple cask mm -hmm. it was really nice though mm -hmm. on the, the 12 year old so it was a close race i think yeah so yeah um, a nice range of whiskies this this month. Um, let's see if we find maybe one or two of them within the year video, maybe. So, yeah. Um, do you have anything else? Mm, no. So, thank you very much for watching. If you found this video interesting, then please feel free to subscribe to this channel. And see you next time.